Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Darius. And this video, this video, you know what kind of girls this video is for? This video is for the girls, by the way. I don't know. I guess I'm always like um, confused whether or not this is people's first time watching my channel or not. Um, I don't get that many new viewers, so the girls that are here are here. Um, but if you are new, hi, welcome. Please subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell icon so you can see when I post if you enjoyed this video. But if not, if you're a returning subscriber um, or a viewer in general, um, this is for you because you probably are for the drama. This is for the drama girls. Um, cause there's going to be a lot of tea spilled in this video. I don't really have very dramatic videos often, but this video is a lot and you're in for a story time. If you clicked on this video, um, lighting's going to be a little bit weird. I have never been up at 8am in my entire life. Um, and this is like, I just wanted to be up and be productive today. Um, I'm actually kind of burning up, so I might be taking this jacket off. It was cute for the thumbnail. Um, today we're having Taco Bell, um, because I'm hungry and I feel like when I'm up in the morning, I might as well go get somebody's breakfast because I don't, I don't get, I miss the window often. Um, Taco Bell's breakfast is very good. I think that I'm just really a Taco Bell groupie. Um, I love everything that they do and it's actually iconic um i don't know i just love all their stuff they're just like i think i support taco bell the most of any fast food restaurant they just are so good to me i don't know sponsor me anyways um okay so i got the the breakfast crunch wrap thing if you have i mean you probably have but if you haven't had taco bell's breakfast it's actually so good um to me at least now i've always been a little iffy on taco bell's like meals in air quotes because they like I don't know what they do but it's never a meal um because they don't have like sides you know they don't do it like McDonald's so I got their breakfast crunch wrap thing um with some of their sauces or whatever and then as their side is a uh, is their Cinnabon delight things um okay this is, I don't know how to do story time videos by myself because I'm like, do I eat first and then talk or, because I don't want the in, to interrupt kind of that, the flow. You guys know how I am with stories. I have to like make sure that the, everything works, the punchlines are there, that I, you know, build up to the climaxes um, and I can't be doing that, you know, while I'm eating. Okay. Okay. This is nasty. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tropicana, I think, is nasty orange juice. Oh, <laughs> they didn't need any of that. Um, you know, it's just, it's very, I feel like I'm, I'm, okay. It's very acidic is all I'm going to say. I feel like it's very, you know, you know, it's very acidic. It punches you and it's, actually, it doesn't punch you. It slices you in the throat. Oh, mm-hmm. Like, you could probably clean, you know, lime residue. <laughs> you could probably clean lime residue with this. Um, but anyways, okay. Lime scale, is that what it is? It's not just lime residue, is it? It's lime scale. Um, let me take a couple bites of this. Maybe we'll have a little chat. And then I'll get into the story. I um, The thing about the story is that it happened over a course of like probably a year and there's a lot of details that I want you guys to know and I don't remember all of them off the top of my head because this started in the fall of 2021 um so I need or I wish that I could have looked at I'm using my phone to record right now I wish I could have looked at it to see like the messages and things like that so I could give you all the details but of course I'm recording on my phone so I can't look at it. But I, I know the majority of them. I did kind of like a refresher this morning just to make sure I knew what I was talking about in this video. Uh, and yes, I, I still use my mouth to open up the, the, the packets. I'm sorry, I don't know what to do. I don't want to like, because you got to put the, your, your food down to open up the, the thing with, with two hands. And I don't even know if it works. We'll try it on the next one. If I forget, don't get me. But um, what's your guys' favorite sauce from Taco Bell? I know everyone's like, girl, get to the story. Let me just eat a little bit. Dang. Okay. Inside of this, if you don't know, is bacon, some kind of sauce, cheese, um, 
eggs, and my favorite part is a hash brown patty, a circular hash brown patty. They ate that. <laughs> they did. Um, and I think hash browns are so good. I don't know what it is. But in the past couple of years, hash browns from anywhere just really have been eating. No pun intended. I don't, you cannot see any. I'm over here dropping pieces of egg in my car. All for you guys. Ugh. That's so weird. A piece of sausage, I mean, just flew and whatever. Mmm. Mmm. Now, I'm in the parking lot. Do you think that people are looking at me or... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We had a piece of bacon gidget. It was a gidget and a gadget. Um, I'm probably going to eat half of this and then start. Of course, you know I have time stamps. If you're new to this channel. Oh, the bacon gidget's back. <laughs> I have time steps. Oh, also, if you do skip my video, I told you I would try doing it with two hands. If you do skip my video um, to my timestamps, I can see each individual one of you doing that. No, I'm just kidding. I put that in there on purpose so you can do that. Because I know if I was watching a video that was an hour long, which I rarely do, I would want some timestamps. Because um, I would want to see... Well, I ain't got time for all that. I know some of y'all at work. I know some of y'all, you know, maybe at the gym. Maybe you're at home and you sing at the time. Diablo is so good. I don't know why I'm showing you like you're going to be able to see. The light is too bright. I swear the guy that um took my order was like frustrated with me. <laughs> I didn't do anything, I promise. Um I literally was like, cause you know I don't know what, what the meals are at and it wasn't really clear on the menu either. Cause like the breakfast part is like at the bottom. They don't really have like a extensive menu for breakfast. And I was like, what comes with the thing? He was like, um all right. I said, do you have a meal for the for the crunch wrap? And he said, yeah. And I just sat there. I was like, okay, well, can I? I was like, what's it? What comes in it? And then he like kind of just was silent. And I was like, I think I had to repeat it again. I was like, what? Like, what comes with the the meal? And he was like, cinnamon delights. I said, okay, well, does it come with a drink? And he said, yeah. I said, oh. You guys have orange juice? And he said, yeah. And I was like, okay. Um, please, can you just give me orange juice? And I should have got a Baja Blast. Okay. I'm going to take two more bites. And we're going to throw Oh, I'm always dropping sauce everywhere. <coughs> Good enough for now. Oh, man.
Okay, it's gonna have to come off. Um, here we go. So a couple of videos back, I let's get comfortable, guys. Get comfortable. Um, for the story time. So a couple months back, and our couple, I mean it might have been a couple months back now. I made a video, and it was originally titled um, "I Sue My Roommate." Okay, and the reason why I titled it that is because I mentioned it in the video. Like I mentioned, like I was like, should I talk about that? Because it's tea. It is. Um, I was like, should I talk about that? But um, I didn't really talk about like in it i uh, just like mentioned that i actually did it and so i felt bad putting it on girl i was wondering if anybody comes to this fitness center and i guess dude is going in oh dang he on camera too i didn't want to put him on blast but um anyways um so i i and i titled it that because you know i mentioned it but i felt bad because i didn't actually talk about it or anything so i changed the title and thumbnail and things like that because i was like i'm really not talking about it i don't want to you know i don't really like doing clickbait on my channel even though I have done before now this is the actual story time I'm gonna actually try to I'm gonna turn the car off I hope I don't die I'm gonna turn it off um I um back in 2021 I lived with three people here we go I live with three people. Um, I'm not going to name two of them. And the, the girl who is the person in question, the, the person that I did end up suing, um, her name is Jackie. For the purposes of this video. You guys ever see videos like that? And they're like, yeah, like let me change their name. And you're always like thinking like, ooh, what is it? Because you know the first letter is the name. <laughs> you know the first letter is the, the name of the person. So you're like, mm, I wonder what it could be. Uh, but anyways, her name's Jackie, and um, um, I lived with two other people. One girl I didn't know, actually. Um, she was a new roommate. I didn't really know her. Whatever. So to start off this story, we all lived together, and we moved in together with each other in the fall of 2021, okay? Um, we had lived together, me and... Jackie and one other girl moved in had already moved in together um and been with each other for sophomore year this is now my junior year that I'm talking about where I where the, all the everything um broke loose um and so we but this time we had that new the new girl with us as a roommate so <clears throat> We all lived together, whatever, and we had to all be on one electricity. Like, we all had to pay electricity to one person, and then we would just pay that person, right? I was the person that electricity was paid through, okay? And the way our electricity was set up, it was so weird. I I, I had trouble with it all the time of figuring out, like, on a monthly schedule, like, how much was owed from each person and whatever, because I felt like... I didn't get notifications or emails until like two months out. The billing cycle was weird. Whatever the case may be. That's important though to the story. So I was the person who, who or I would pay it and then the uh, my roommates would pay me back. Or pay me like whatever when it, when it would happen. When I would pay it. But because... Um, I wouldn't sometimes get the, the email or whatever. And I'm, it's not obviously on my mind every single day. Like, okay, how much do we owe for electricity? Because I wouldn't get it all the time. Our bills would like rack up. It would never be more than like two months at a time. And it was probably about 50 bucks a person or something like that. So at some points it would be like a hundred dollars like that, that, um, each person owed for electricity. And it's because I understand that people have, um, to budget their finances. I didn't want to spring up on anybody like, okay, everybody owes me a hundred dollars, you know, because that's, you know, unrealistic when you're, when I'm, when I'm not the one, um, you know, telling them every single month, like, okay, you owe me 50 bucks or whatever, blah, 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 blah. So I was really nice with that. 
like, okay, you guys owe me a hundred dollars, but you know, pay me when you can. Basically, what it was, it was what what it was, because obviously, I I wasn't like, not obviously, but I wasn't pressed for the hundred dollars from from each person. Okay, so um, fast forward to around December of twenty twenty one. Um, I'm, I get a message from Jackie. I get a message from Jackie saying, oh my gosh, guys, this is T actually. <laughs> I'm just thinking about the whole story. This is T. So I get a message from Jackie saying like, okay, well, you know, um, I haven't been paying you electricity. Now, mind you, you guys are like idiot. How did you not know that Jackie wasn't paying you? Um, I, again, like I said, I wasn't really, um, pressed for the for the electricity money um and I really wasn't diligent that was my bad like I just wasn't like paying attention to like demos every single month from every single person who was paying me who wasn't right and of course after she said that I was like oh I didn't notice that you hadn't been paying me because I often got a lot I forgot I forgot to, to mention this part I often got a lot in my Venmo I was um uh, I don't even know how to explain it. I would be, I was buying things in bulk for people, whatever, not drugs. <laughs> I was buying things for people. No, but the point is, is that I would often have a lot in my Venmo and it wasn't, um, so I wouldn't really, I wasn't really able to be like, to keep track. It's not like I only ever got electricity money from them. Whatever. The point is, is that I wasn't on top of it. She wasn't paying me. And of course, when she said that, I was like, oh, I should probably be checking if, if they had been paying me. So my other roommates had been paying me monthly um, and she just hadn't. So I was like, oh, OK. Mind you, I told you this is around December time. Um, and she texts me saying, I haven't paying you. I'm going to get the money to you. And I'm like, you know what? Um, as a Christmas gift, you don't have to pay me it because I, I really wasn't I didn't need it. Um, I wanted to be nice and, you know, kind or whatever. So I told her, I was like, hey, this, the, for this, the, what you owe me this semester, you don't have to pay me. It's fine. Merry Christmas. And she's like, oh, are you sure? And I was like, yes. Like, you don't have to pay me, blah, 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 blah. And she's like, thank you. And I was like, you're welcome. So whatever. That was it. December happens. We go on, on winter break. Um, I'm in college by the, or I was in college at the time. Um, and so we go back home or whatever for winter break. We come back in January, and this time, um, I'm now checking. I'm checking because I still am the person who's paying the electricity, <clears throat> and I'm checking now to see, you know, um, who is. So, the semester, again, it's about every two months or something. I don't know what had to have been. I don't really know, but the number was always high. Every time I, like, actually calculated how much they owed me for each period, it was always higher because of like the time periods that it was. So again, I was always like, hey, pay me when you can. Um, which for an adult, if you are an adult, pay me when you can. It's like, okay, this person's being nice to me. But as soon as I have it, I'm going to pay it because this is a bill that I owe or something that I, I owe, right? You would think that everyone's mature enough in the situation. At this point, we're all 21, I think. So um, I'm going to be mature enough in the situation to pay the, this person, Right? So time goes on and Jackie hasn't paid me. Um, I think I, and a, we have a group chat with all the people we live with, obviously our roommates or whatever. <clears throat> and I was like, hey, you know, pay me for electricity, blah, 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 blah. Every single time billing cycle. Um, so she doesn't pay me. And at this point, I'm like, okay, this is weird, right? But I'm not thinking anything bad of it because I told her she didn't have to pay for the first semester. And it wasn't a whole semester. She paid me like, Maybe the first couple months or something. I don't know. But she didn't pay me for like a, a definitely a few, probably half of the first semester for electricity. So fast forward to the end of the semester. It's kind of like, I want to say it's like April maybe, maybe May. Um, and like, so we're at the last couple weeks of school. I don't really see her very often in the house. Like I do see her, but like, I, again, I'm not always thinking about electricity money. So... I'm like, okay, this is interesting. She has, I check one day. I'm like, she hasn't paid me at all. So we get home for summer break. And, oh, ugh, I'm over here missing a part of the story. I'm so sorry. This is kind of going to be, like I said, a little bit all over the place because the fact that I don't have it right in front of me. That fall, the fall before, fall of 2021, electricity time, when I when she, when I told her she didn't have to pay, um, we all decided to live together again 
the following year. Not the new girl. Sorry, not the new girl. She was moving somewhere else. But um, me, Jackie, and the other girl decided we were going to live together in a house this time because we were in an apartment. We wanted to move into a house. Um, and this is like the main portion of the story, but this is the beginning part of it. Um, basically, we were all going to move in together. I'll, I'll get back to that in one second. Um, just follow along. You, you, you got it. You got it. I promise. So it's May now of 2022. It's May of 2022. She hasn't paid me electricity. I text her. I say, Hey girly. Um, I haven't gotten anything from you this semester. Do you know when you're going to have it? Um, and this is like kind of right when we get home from school. It's probably the second week of May. Radio silence radio silence no message at all and i'm like okay this is interesting that she's not responding now back to the fact that we are gonna live it's not it's not like i let like we're all moving out and she just like i was like yeah i got him like we're just not gonna um i'm never gonna see him again and i just got him for his electricity money blah 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 blah. no we're moving we're literally like moving in together in august again so i'm like hey like you haven't paid me for electricity mo- um, money or whatever. And at this point, I think she owes around like maybe $300, maybe just shy or just over something around $300. Um, and I'm like, okay, well, that's a lot um, that she owes me that much. So I texted her, like I said. And so so to go back to, to fall of 2021, we sign our lease that we're going to move in together, right? In August of 2022, we sign our lease. Um, and at least states that we all individually have to pay $1,200 by move-in date. Now it doesn't say that in the lease. We really, there was, it was really a lot more constricting. Like they were like, you need $600 within, um, 60 days of the lease signing. And then I think it was another 60 or 80 days after that we needed the other 600 something dollars, right? It was probably a little bit more than 1200 I don't remember, but it was around $1,200. And so I'm like, okay, well. Um, this is so interesting that we have to pay all of this immediately. So they were really nice, actually. And they were like, you guys can just make, just make sure you have the $1,200 in by moving date. You don't have to worry about like paying it immediately. Like you'll be fine. And I don't know if it was still like a COVID kind of situation where they were like, oh, it's okay. Like you can pay us whenever you want to. But we we put ourselves basically on any kind of payment plan we wanted to. They were really lenient. Like we were able to call any like every two weeks and be like, I want to pay this much. And it could be as little or as much as we wanted it to be. They were really not like pressing us on them on getting us our money our, our money in. But we had already signed our lease or whatever. So come May. Around the time where I'm texting her about electricity money, um, we get a message from our housing company um, who owns this house and we're just like, you know, living in it for a year. We get a message saying, hey, you guys have like a balance still, like a couple of you guys still owe some money. Now, mind you, each individual person can't see everyone else's like how much they owe. Um, and so they're like, okay, you guys owe a little bit of money. And I think I had owed like, one more payment or something of like $200 or something like that I had owed by May. And then the other girl, she owed, I think she owed one more payment too. I don't know how much she was paying. So I don't know how much her last payment was, but, um, she said, Oh yeah, I only have one more payment too. And we were all like talking to each other in our group chat. And then Jackie also said she had one more payment. Um, and so I'm like, okay, perfect set. Like, I don't think anything of it. Right. So then, like I said, I messaged her around the same time about the electricity money and I get radio silence, right? And so I'm like, okay, this is weird because I'm gonna see her again in August and it's gonna be awkward when we like are moving in together again. And oh, mind you, again, uh, and uh, I didn't say this rather, I know Jackie. This is not like some random girl that I don't know. Jackie is actually one of the first people I met in Arizona Um, and one of my first friends in Arizona, um, that, um, like when I didn't know anybody, like when I was going to college, like my friend, cause I didn't know anybody. I literally moved across the country and she happened to be the girlfriend of one of my close friends that I just met again, but everyone I just met, um, in my freshman year of college. So I knew her. It wasn't like we moved in together because we knew each other. It wasn't like I just knew that I just got this random girl and I was trusting her. No, this is my friend. Um, and we weren't like super, super close, like besties, but we were friends. Okay. So she doesn't respond. 
or whatever. And this is when it starts becoming tea. Um, I've messaged her in May. She doesn't respond for like maybe six weeks or something. And all of a sudden, now I'm, I'm in a group chat with the other girl that I live with. And also, um, who is it? Um, um, her boyfriend. And I wonder if, yes, just her. No, no, no. And one other girl. Okay. (laughs) Okay. So I hate when I tell stories all over the place. So I also live, um, or this past year. So 2022 to 2023, I lived with Jackie, the girl, the original girl, which I probably should give her a name. I'm gonna say her name's Kayla. I don't know if she wants her her stuff out here in the in the in the world. Her name is not actually Kayla, but whatever. And then um, um, another girl, okay, all girls that I live with. And so I'm in a group chat with everyone that I live with, um, plus Kayla's boyfriend, minus Jackie, okay. And I think that at this point we had already knew something was up with Jackie going on. That's why we had this group chat. I don't really remember why, but. Um, um, I get a message one day. So me, me and, me and the girls plus, plus, um, uh, well, I guess whatever, um, in, in this group chat, we're talking to each other. Right. And so Jackie is very much like MIA in the summer to me. Cause she hasn't been messaging me back. Hasn't been responding. So I'm like, okay, this is a lot, but she basically messages me randomly in I want to say June or maybe early July, somewhere around there. My my timelines aren't like perfect, but definitely like at least six weeks after, ignores my message about the electricity, and she sends me this long paragraph. Now I want to put this in perspective for you guys. That day, for whatever reason, of course, of all days, I wasn't on my phone the entire day. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was dead or like I, I had it at home or left it at home. I was with my parents. I remember that I was with my parents the entire day didn't like bother checking my phone and she um she basically sends me this big message but I had all I had messages from my group chat and also from the housing company and you know how when you go on your phone and you have all these messages you just like pick whichever one you want to first and talk that often. And again, like I told you, I had sent her this message about electricity and it had been six months before she actually, um, not six months, six weeks before she had actually messaged me back. So I was like, this is interesting. So I wanted to answer her first. So she sent me this long pa- paragraph and this is where it gets crazy. So she sends me this long paragraph and in the paragraph it goes, hey, um, like I haven't messaged you in a while. I'm sorry. Um, I have your electricity money. I'm going to give it to you, or I have some of your electricity money or something like that. I'm going to give it to you, but, like, there's, like, a problem. And I'm like, "Uh uh-oh. I'm like, what's going on? So she messages um, me, and she's like, I I owe money to Casa Bonita. Oops, I I said the name. It doesn't really matter. They're, they're like, huge in Tucson. Um, I owe money to Casa Bonita, which is our housing company. Um, And... I need to, um, I need to pay that, but I don't have it right now. And I, and in this message, she's like, the reason why I don't have it is because I need to use, I have the money. I actually do have it, but I need to use my 600 or something dollars that I have, 600 or something dollars that I have to put towards, um, an abortion. Like I need to, I I'm pregnant right now. I'm pregnant right now and I need to get an abortion and I need um, to use the money that I've saved up to pay Casa Bonita to now pay um, for this abortion. So I'm like, okay, like I, this is very like catching me off guard. I have been spoken to her in at least two months. I'm all of a sudden like the last time I saw her, she wasn't pregnant and now she is. So I'm like, okay, this is interesting. She's like, I need an abortion. So I'm like, okay, great. Um, and she says, I don't have, I ain't got the money on me right now for this Casa Bonita thing. So I'm like, okay, um, whatever. So I get back into my group chat with the girls and I'm like, this is a lot. Like, um, she doesn't have, cause they, they kept on like, they were messaging me too that same day about 
the um, the money that she didn't have owed, right? Or that she owed Casamuni that she didn't have. And the reason why, um, the reason why they were messaging in there is because the housing company messaged all of us in the group chat. Shoot, they're like, "Your your movement date is coming up soon, and you guys owe six hundred dollars." And I'm thinking in my head, "Okay, well, how does she owe six hundred dollars when she said she only had one payment left, like a uh, two months ago or whatever?" Which I doubt that she was paying six hundred dollars a payment, but whatever. So I'm like, "That's interesting. She owes that much." Um, and so they were talking about it, whatever, in the chat, in our in our group chat. Tell me why, um, Jackie only told me about the um her her needing to get an abortion kayla knew she knew um um and the other my other roommate we're gonna call christina christina kayla and jackie um christina and kayla no christina didn't know about about um jackie about to be getting an abortion but kayla knew but she didn't say anything, right? Because Kayla and Jackie were kind of close, right? And so I go into the chat assuming that everyone got this message. Like, I assumed, for real, that everyone got this message from Jackie. So I'm like, okay, this is cute. We're talking about her owing $600. But are we going to talk about the fact that she's pregnant right now? And they go, what? I said, she's pregnant. Y'all didn't get that message? They said, no. We actually didn't have that information. I said, oh, okay. That's kind of tea, actually. Um, so that made me think a little bit differently about the message that I got from Jackie. Hmm. So, um, this is literally going to take me an hour to, to explain. So, Jackie is pregnant. And she needs to get an abortion. She has $600, but she cannot pay Casa Bonita it because she has to get an abortion. Um, mind you, when she messages me, this day that I'm talking about, where I didn't have my phone and I got all these messages from everybody, it's 48 hours. 48 hours before our move-in day. That's the reason why um, um, Casa Bonita was messaging us. 48 hours before we need to move in, um, we're getting a message saying that one of the people owes, or Jackie rather, owes six hundred dollars, and I'm like, this is insane. So they tell us in this message, hey, if you guys don't have that six hundred and something dollars by in forty eight hours, then um, we're not going to give you the keys to move in. I'm like, oh my goodness, this is literally so much. So now, I just told everybody, all of our roommates, that Jackie's pregnant, and Christina didn't know, and I didn't know that she didn't know, because honestly, Christina lived with us because of Jackie, so I just assumed that they were closer than me and Jackie were, like, to be able to tell her, like, beforehand, but Christina didn't know, so I told her. I didn't know that she didn't know. Whatever. That was my bad. So... At this point, she owes $600. We've all paid. Christina, Kayla, and me have all paid our um, our, our money to, to move in, right? And so I'm like, okay, I need to pay for her $600. Because if I don't pay for it, I don't know if anybody else has the money just to pay six $700 in 48 hours for us to be able to move in. You guys realize this is for us to move in. This is not like I'm just paying for her stuff and like, you know, it has nothing, it's not going to affect me. No, this is like our, we cannot move in if we do not pay for this $600. So I'm like, this is so much. But mind you, Jackie in this message, and this made me think like, Jackie only messaged me about the abortion because she wanted me to pay for it because she thought that, like, she only, she wouldn't have told me. Like, like I said, Kayla already knew about it. Obviously, Christina didn't know, but Kayla already knew about it. And, um, 
she wanted to tell me only because she wanted like me to feel bad. Like she was like, oh, well, now you know, and like I need you to pay for this and blah, 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 blah. And I was wondering why she didn't like message the group asking the group for money. She only specifically asked me. So I'm like, okay, um, we obviously need to move in. And she was really adamant in this message. She's like, I have your electricity money, or at least the majority of it. Um, and I will have your, um, if you pay for this, I'll have your, your, um, money for this by the time school starts and school started probably two to three weeks from that time that she messaged me. And so I'm like, okay, um, okay, so this is what we're going to do. And my dad told me to do this. I told her, I said, the money that you saved up for me to go, um, to, to pay me electricity money, put that money towards this, um, bill and then I'll pay the rest. Um, and then we can worry about electricity money and all that other stuff later. She's like, okay, perfect. She told me, she's like, I'll have all this money to you by the time school starts. And I told her, I was like, that's not like legit. That's not logical because like, I, I was like, there's no way within three weeks you're going to be able to have, you know, 600 something dollars plus my electricity money by the time we, um, by the time we start school. So I'm like, here, here's the thing. By the end of August, so at this point we were in the beginning of August, I was like, by the end of August, um, pay me the electricity money. And then by the end of September, pay me the um, the money for the, the move-in thing. Because I was like, I know that you're going through a lot right now. Obviously, she's getting an abortion. Like, she's there's probably so many emotions that she's having. And I didn't want to, like, intervene with any of that. So I was like, let me give you a little bit more time because I know that life is hard and all this other stuff. So I was like, pay me the electricity money by... August 31st, and then pay me the rest of the money by September 30th. There's only 30 days in September, right? Yeah, I think so. So I'm like, pay me the rest of it by September. And she's like, perfect, that's a great plan, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay, we're all good, we're all set. So, um, mind you, we move in or whatever, because I paid this money, we would not, we literally would not have had, we would have been homeless, we would not have had anywhere to stay, and Christina, by the way, was literally packing to to fly to Arizona within, I think, 24 hours of, of us finding out that we owe, still owe $600. So it's like she's on her way to get there. And she will not be able to move in at all. She was going to be the first person to pick up the key. And she would not have been able to, to unlock the door without us paying this. So I'm like, okay, this is a lot. So I paid it or whatever. She said she was going to pay me back. We all move in, yada, yada, yada. Um, oh my gosh, this is tea. So we all move in, and three weeks later, so this is about the time that, that um, Jackie is supposed to have paid me. She, um, or I'm, we're messaging each other, right? Because she's kind of like back and forth between where she lives, because she lives a couple cities away, but, um, back and forth between where she lives and then Tucson. So I'm like, okay, well... Um, I'm not seeing her very often because, like, school hasn't really started yet. So, you know, I'm not seeing her very, very much. And I, I actually don't even think that she had moved in yet because of the whole situation with her, the abortion thing. She probably was going through a lot where she, like, wasn't worried about moving in yet. So whatever. Um, um, she, I think she moved in, like, right before school started. And at this point, I messaged him like, hey, okay, so, like, it's time for you to, like, pay me now. Just the electricity portion of the money. Do you have it? And she goes, no, I don't have it. And this is where, like, this happened a couple times. Obviously, you don't have the exact dates and exact times or whatever because I'm not on my phone. But she's like, I don't have it. Like, I need um, a little bit more time. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. Um, and she was, like, specifically telling me why she doesn't have it. She's like, I'm, I'm, I will get it to you on Friday. My parents owe me money. Um, and I'll have that, you know, $300 to you or whatever by Friday. Okay, fine. Again, I'm not, I'm not strapped for the electricity money, at least. Now, at this point, it's becoming a lot. She pay, owes me electricity money, and now she owes me o o almost $700 for um, our move-in. So I'm like, okay, this is a lot. And again, I'm again, I'm really, really trying to be nice because she's going through a lot. So I'm like, okay, um, um, you can have, or look, you can have a little bit more time. So Friday comes around, um, no response. I'm like, okay. I actually give her a couple more days after Friday. I think I messaged her on that Sunday after. And I was like, hey, 
um, did you did you ever get the money from your parents? Blah 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 blah. Um, she's like, no, I didn't get it. Um, you know, my parents are doing a lot. Blah 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 blah. But I will have it to you for sure by next Monday. So I'm like, okay, at this point, I'm getting a little more frustrated now because she's literally hasn't paid me a, a cent since um, the middle of, of the semester in 2021 and things are adding up now. So I'm like, okay, well, um, okay, we'll just have it to me by Monday, you know, or whatever. My patience is running thin though. So Monday comes around and she hasn't messaged me about the money or, t- or giving me the money. And so I messaged her again. I'm like, hey, do you have the money? This At this time, she now is no longer at the house. Like, she doesn't, like, come home anymore. She doesn't stay there. I haven't seen her. Um, and she doesn't have the money to me. And she doesn't respond to me when I messaged her that Monday. I'm like, okay, this is a lot. Like, you haven't responded to me. So then... About a week after that Monday goes by, I haven't seen her, but she lives there. She's actually, at this point, I found I find out that she's staying with her baby daddy, um, but she had an abortion. Um, so I'm like, okay, um, whatever. She's staying with her boyfriend or whatever, and I was like, I wonder why. She has, like, literally not come home at all, um, and so maybe because she's, she's, again, she's going through a lot, like, she just had an abortion, yada, 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 so I'm like, Okay, this is a lot though. So I, I, I uh, if you know, like on iPhones, you can like, um, you can like react to a message. You can like heart it, or you can like put an exclamation point on it, or whatever, and it'll re give a notification to the whoever you sent that message to. So I said, hey, do you know when you're gonna have the money? That Monday that she didn't respond, she never responded. A week later, I emphasized the message, put a little um, exclamation point on it, just so she can get another notification. Just maybe she forgot about it, whatever. No response. So I'm like, okay, this is a lot. Um, and then after that, it had been like probably a couple weeks after that. So now we're, we're getting into like October. She hadn't paid me electricity money. It's been weeks and weeks and weeks. She hasn't paid me at the end of September for anything. And so I'm like, now this is a lot. Um, so I message her. I keep a message here to no response. And again, I'm not seeing her at all. So, um, October comes around and it's kind of the big, it's the beginning of October, probably October 1st or whatever. And I'm fed up at this point. So I send her this long thing saying, okay, from the beginning, I said, I let, I, you, you didn't pay me electricity in 2021, right? Which it was your responsibility to pay me, right? I'm obviously the one being paid. It's your responsibility to pay me. I was nice enough to say, you know what? You don't have to pay that. Merry Christmas or whatever, right? And I specifically made it clear and she knew that it was only that semester she didn't have to pay me. I didn't say, oh, you don't ever have to pay me electricity. Like, whatever. We are adults. You understand that you have bills to pay. Like, whatever. So she doesn't pay me. I'm like, all right, whatever. Um, That's fine. Then comes the second semester of my, um, my junior year. I'm like, okay. Well, um, she has to pay me again. So I messaged her at the end of the semester saying, hey, you haven't paid me electricity. You owe me about $300 at this point. Um, I need you to, to, to pay that. No response. Then the only time she messages me is to ask for more money. But at this point, I'm put in a, a difficult position because we're supposed to be moving in in less than 48 hours. And if I don't pay this money, we won't be able to move in at all. So I pay it, but she's lenient or or I mean, she's diligent in telling me I'm going to pay you by this date. So I'm like, okay, again, she's going through a lot. She's springing up on me that she has, she's getting an abortion, da, 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 this, da, da, that, whatever. So time goes by and I'm not finding out information through her. I'm finding it out through Kayla because I told you Kayla and Jackie are pretty close at this time. It's definitely, definitely, uh, they're separating, but they were pretty close still at this point because Jackie's kind of closing on cutting everybody off except for her boyfriend, really, to be honest. Well, everyone in our house at least. And so I'm like, okay, this is so weird. Um, and I don't know when I found this out, but Kayla basically 
is like, okay, well, the T is to Christina and I, she's like, well, the T is that um, she's still having her baby. Now, I don't know if you guys know, this is crazy, by the way. Let me take a, pa- a dramatic pause for that. Gasp. She's still having the baby. I want you to backtrack to, to what I said. She's still having the baby. Mind you, we were we we're all under the assumption at that point, and even now, that she took the pill. I don't know if you guys know about the pill. Um, I really don't know how it works. I've never looked into like abortions or whatever. Um, I've never had to have one, obviously. But um, the pill basically means like it it like helps you have an. It's like a it's a non invasive uh, way to have an abortion. And that was what I was under the ass- assumption that she got that she used her six seven hundred dollars or whatever to get. That I needed. That's why I needed to pay for the other portion of her thing for us to be able to even move in. And so she does. So I don't know if she did do it and it didn't work because there is a chance when you take the pill that it doesn't work. Um. And so, to me in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, so she did take the pill, and it didn't work, which is what she told um um Kayla. She took the pill and it didn't work, and then now, she's actually going through with it. I would never do that. If I was going to have an abortion and I took the pill, because what happens is when you take the pill, obviously it attempted to, to, you attempted to abort the baby. You attempted to do it, right? And it's, there is a high percentage that the pill will, um, will make your baby have some kind of birth defects. If you don't actually care, if you end up actually carrying the baby to term, there's a probability that you could have some kind of birth defects with a child because you tried to abort the baby. So... She doesn't, or whatever, she she doesn't um, do it, or she, she ends up um, saying she's going to have the baby, and at this point, we're not seeing her at all. She's staying with her boyfriend, so I'm like, this is so much, um, and the first, again, now, now, now me thinking back when I find out that she didn't, we didn't know this at all, that she didn't abort the baby. I saw her in the first couple of weeks when we like were moving or like when, like right before school started because we were going out and drinking and stuff like doing things or whatever. And um, she literally was drinking as well. Like we all fully remember. We're like, are we crazy? Like she fully was drinking with us and we didn't think anything of it at the time because we thought she got an abortion. So we're like, oh, it's fine. Like she didn't she's not having a baby. She's not like pregnant or anything. She's fully drinking with us. So I'm like, okay, this is so weird that she had the pill, was drinking with us, and now she's having the baby. What? Like, that's so crazy. So this is when she stops responding to my messages more and more and more. Like, I I had just, like, seen her a little bit in that beginning time when our school started or whatever. And then she's like, went ghost on us and started living with her boyfriend. So then... Um, I messaged her at the beginning of to- October. I said, if you don't pay me my money by October 26th, I am suing the tailbone off of you. I'm suing the tailbone off of you because this is too much now at this point. You're not responding to my messages. And again, I think for me, it was more principal. I didn't, I wasn't really strapped rather for the money, right? The point of it was, is that you have manipulated me, used me, and spit in my face throughout this entire year, right? You you asked me for money, I've given it to you. You said I'll pay you back. I'm I'm trusting you. I'm giving you more time. I'm being lenient. You're not I'm messaging you saying, "Hey, do you have it?" being nice about it and you're not responding to me. Like all of those things are rude things to do, right? So I'm like, at this point it's just principle because you did a lot. So So basically, um she's living with her boyfriend or whatever. And I rarely see her anymore. Um, and I'm like, this is a lot. So basically, she um, stops responding to everything that I sent her. When I sent her this long thing saying that I'm going to sue you, she's like, I'm, I will have the money to you by October 26th. And I, I don't respond to her message because I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to give you a little bit of piece of what you give me. You you say you're gonna you're gonna pay me back all of the money by October twenty sixth. Okay, I trust you. I believe you. You're twenty one years old at this point. Like this is on you t- to figure out. If not, I told you what I'm gonna do. Anyway, so 
Um, I don't respond to that message. She responds, obviously replies like saying like, oh, I'm going to pay you back. So whatever. Don't respond to that message. October 26 comes and goes. And I get no message, no anything, no nothing. If she were even communicative, is that a word? Communicative. If she was communicating with me saying like, okay, you know, if she kept on saying like, listen, I don't have it all right now. Maybe I can give you like 50 bucks like every week or something like, or maybe you, maybe even 20. I don't care. As long as she was giving an effort to be like, I'm going to pay you. Like, I just don't have it right now. I would have been totally fine. But it was the fact that she didn't put any effort to pay me at all. And again, she's going through a lot. But at this point, like that has nothing to do with me. You decide. I don't even know how she ended up getting pregnant. There was a whole like, thing about birth control and I don't know but the point is is that she was and obviously that's a tough it's a very very you know difficult discussion topic to have you know in your life in general having an abortion if you decide to have an abortion it's because you know you this usually it's your last resort like you probably cannot um um live or you don't have the money obviously she can't pay me electricity so this is all my thing she can't pay me electricity. She can't pay me for the for the, the move-in money. She got an abortion. It didn't work. And you are not going to try anything else to, to get an abortion. You're just going to have the baby now. You can't even pay your rent. You can't even pay your rent and you want to bring a, a child into this earth. That is just like, I just don't think that that's like, hmm, logical. Like, what are you going to do? When you don't have the money to feed your child, like that at that point, like I think that's a lot. So, whatever. So she doesn't pay me. Um, at this point, it's probably um, November, uh, end of October, November, and we haven't seen her in weeks. Tell me why we get a message from Casa Bonita, our housing company, saying, "Oh yeah, she hasn't paid in two months." Now, at this point, we're young, dumb, and foolish, and we'll ne- we we learned our lesson, okay? We didn't sign on with guarantors. Now, I'm sure most of you, most of my uh, audience is adults, but if you don't know what a guarantor is yet, or if you're in college or whatever, a guarantor means that somebody, if you aren't respond, if you aren't able to pay your portion of whatever it is that you're sharing with somebody, or even just like a car or whatever. That some that a guarantor can pay for you, and they they will reach out to that guarantor if you don't pay, and so they had that option where everyone could have a guarantor. So therefore, we wouldn't re- be responsible for anybody else's rent. But at this time, we're young, we're foolish. Apparently, we are all friends, so we're like, you know, if there's any kind of issue, we'll figure it out with both amongst each other. But there probably won't be an issue because everything will be fine. Um. And also, it's like a kind of a hassle to find a guarantor because your 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 guarantor has to make a certain amount of money and all this other stuff. So like, it's just more of a of a task to do that. So we were like, let's just sign up by ourselves. We'll be fine. And by the way, we all were paying our rent previously in the past. What was it? Two years that we had lived together. So it didn't seem like there was be, be an issue to get guarantors. This now that we're moving, like, why would we get guarantors when everyone's been paying their own rent? every month like we didn't and it was the the rent the rent was comparable we were like paying like maybe just like 20 bucks more or less or something like that it was very like comparable to what we were paying before so we didn't think that anybody was actually not going to be able to pay the rent so i digress basically um we get a message from casa bonita saying hey um jackie actually hasn't paid for the past two months so we need you guys to run us that money at this point, I'm fuming. I'm fuming. Not only have you not paid electricity, not only did you only tell me you were getting an abortion randomly because you wanted me to pay for your other portion, not only did I actually pay for that because you promised me you were going to pay me back, not only did I tell you I was going to sue you if you didn't pay me by a certain date, not only did you pass that date and not pay me a cent, But you haven't been paying your rent? What are you doing? And now you're and now you're about to carry the baby to term. After you supposedly got this abortion and you've been drinking. What is going on, sis? What is going on? At this point, I think it's a lot. Like you're doing like the literal most. 
Like, this is crazy. I haven't seen you. You're MIA. You won't respond to my messages. You're, you owe everyone money. And the reason why I say everyone is because we ended up splitting the two months rent. We all had to pay, like, I don't even know how much we had to pay. Um, But we all had to pay her rent portion for those two months. And I'm like, this is literally so much. So, again, we have never seen her at this point. So it took me a long time to actually figure out how to sue somebody. Like, I, I had to take her to civil claims court or whatever. And the total ended up being around $2,300 because of the electricity, the mon- the move-in money, and then we had to pay for her money for those two months of rent. Um, but we all divided it. Um, and then I think that that was it. So, um, yeah, I spent the time, I buckled down, I I looked it up, I figured out how to do it, I went through the whole process, I was in and out of the courthouse, it was literally so much, and she never responded to any of the things, if you don't know how suing somebody works, it is literally a long process, you gotta like, you know, file it with the court, and then the court has to be like, okay, we're starting this like claim, and then you have to like, Every time you were sending something to the court, you have to send it to the person you're suing, and they have the the obligate. I mean, they have the ability to pay to either pay back before it gets too far, or dispute it and say I actually don't owe this person money. All this other stuff, right? So she had multiple, like four or five times to like intervene and say something or whatever, and she never did. So, and she knew. Obviously, I told her I was gonna sue her. I told her I in the message I said, "Call my bluff if you dare." Call my bluff if you dare. It took me a while because I was busy doing other things. Um, but I was like, call my bluff if you dare. I am going to sue you if you don't pay me by October 26. And I did. Um, and I won, actually, because she never responded. So the court gave me um, um, my judgment saying that I, I sh- should be owed this money. And also, it, it's charging her interest. Um, so go! Don't pay me if you don't want to. But when I when and if I decide to come get my money, you're going to owe interest for however long you waited until you wanted to do so. Oh, that was dumb. Stupid. Anyways, um, so that is the story of how I'm owed to date around $2,300. Some of that is to my roommates. Because we all paid for her two months that she didn't pay. Um, oh, and by the way, she ended after this the two months portion. She started paying like sometimes, like in she would pay a little bit here and there, um, like for the next semester. Even though she wasn't living there, by the way, we still we never I never saw her again. By the way, to date, I have never seen her again. Isn't that crazy? I never, and she waited until. When was it? When did she wait until? She waited until December or sometime when we were on a break and we all left to come in and she moved her stuff out. She moved all her stuff out. Um, and she was still on the lease for the entire year. And I guess she paid her, her rent. So she paid her rent. She obviously got a job and paid her rent. I don't know why she, how she did all this while being pregnant, whatever. Um, but then, and she's already had her baby too. But she never, ever, ever contacted me, never said, here, I have money to pay you. But she ended up, and also, like, it wasn't like she was just paying her rent and we never heard about it again. No. We were getting messages every single month saying, Jackie hasn't paid her rent. And we were like, literally about to um um poop our insides out going oh my gosh we have to pay for her again and then she would like pay like three weeks later or something and then it would be again like oh well jackie hasn't paid her rent and i'm like oh my gosh like i hope she does it and so eventually we didn't ever have to pay for her again um but she specifically went to the house and moved her stuff out when we were gone over winter break so that she wouldn't have to see us because i was our i was here in ohio um and I think that the whole situation is so crazy. The fact she ghosted all of us too. It wasn't just me. It's not like, oh, well, Darius, you're a meanie, and I'm not gonna message you, and talk to you anymore. She stopped talking to everyone in the house. And her, or um, Jackie and Kayla were really close. 
and we only knew Christina because of Jackie. And now we're all trauma bonded because Jackie did the most and then just MIA, like ghosted us. First of all, before she could ghost me, I blocked her on every single thing. I said, do not message me again. And the only t- or, or no, the only thing I kept her on was, was message. I blocked her on every other social media. The, and, and on the, the last message that we had between each other, I said, your court papers are in your bedroom because she was still in the house at that point. Um, I was like, your court papers are in the bedroom. Pick them up when you can. And she never responded to that. And she never did anything with that because you need like, you're supposed to serve them or whatever. It was a whole big thing. And then I had to, fit, I had to get somebody to serve her like at her house because she moved out. She went all the way back to her hometown. I had to get a, a process server to go serve her papers. And um, then I had to go through the whole process with the court and everything like that. But she literally did the most. I still don't have my money. Um, but we don't need to worry about that right now. The point is, is that this is literally insane. Don't ever do this to anybody. I don't know how or why we me and my my roommates were talking and it's it's like every single time she is like presented with an option okay you can pick option a or option b option b is always the worst option ever and option a is the mature responsible option she always picks option b every single time whenever there's a fork in a road she always picks option b and i just want to know what is going on like i don't know where she got that from I don't know, like, why she does the things that she do- does, but every single time she has an option to make the right decision to be like, okay, I need to do this for the betterment of me or the betterment of the people I'm around or whatever so I can be responsible as an adult, she doesn't ever pick that, that option. And I think that that is so crazy, so unbelievably crazy. Now, I want you guys to let me know if I'm over-exaggerating in the comments because this is this is insane. And and my mom is always talking about because that's obviously she knows the story. Ooh, it's hot. The sun is coming out a little bit more. Um, um, she's always something. Well, why don't you just like forgive her? Like, why don't you just like it's fine. like she she's going through a rough time. I said, okay, mom, I will forgive her. Run me twenty three hundred dollars right now, quickly, quickly. Oh, oh, and then the, the oh well, uh, oh well, oh uh huh, oh well what? Oh well, nothing. Okay, because if you don't want to, if you don't want to be out twenty three hundred dollars, and you want me to be out twenty three hundred dollars, then don't say nothing. Because obviously, if the roles were reversed, you would want your money too. So I told her, I said, "Pay me the twenty three hundred. Run it since you got it like that, and I, you want me to be like, okay, your your debts are paid. Don't worry about it. Then, then give me the money, and I'll tell her that that. Oh, by the way, my mom paid for your debts. Be love." Be love, be love, be love three times. I want you to say that. Yeah, but she's not going to. Anyways, um, so that's the end of this video. It's been an hour. Um, it, it kind of was all over the place. This is a horrible story time. Um, but let me know what you would have done in this situation because this is like literally a lot. So um, I just cannot believe that this actually happened. Oh, I'm so hot. I cannot believe this actually happened. But um, that's one of the worst. Like I, again... It, it took me as long as it did for me to actually end up suing her. It was like a year later. Um, and all of those things happened. I'm, I'm, I'm almost positive I'm missing some pieces in and, out, and around the, the situation. Um, but that was the gist of it. And let me know if I'm in the wrong for anything. Because I feel like I was very nice. I was very lenient. I was very, you know, understanding. I was very nice. I don't even know what other n- words to say. Um, but I gave her every single opportunity in the book. I literally told her, I was like, Hey, if you don't have it right now, just let me know. Like, just tell me, Hey, I can, we can work out a plan. We can work out a, um, like, you know, like a payment plan or whatever. Oh, and then, uh, sorry. Lastly, up until before I, I actually sued her probably like about a month before I kept on messaging her and telling her, I was like, Hey, like. Um, we know you don't have it right now, but can you pay us anything? Can you like, we can start a payment plan. Um, we did, I forgot about this part. I told you I forgot about a part. We contacted her the second semester. So basically, uh, I think it was beginning of this year, like January or so. And we were like, Hey, can you pay something to us? Like we, we would rather have you pay us 
like individually ex- um, instead of us having to go through the courts like can you just pay us no 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 um she just stopped responding she did respond like when we were like we were gonna have a meeting so she responded we um then she said she couldn't have the meeting or something um and so we sent her this long paragraph or whatever of like what our our proposition or proposition was that we were going to actually like have her just pay us instead of us going through the courts and she was like yeah like i love that idea um i'll i'll get you back in a week or something why lie like we know you're a liar we know you're a liar why lie then like you might as well tell the truth because we don't believe you anymore oh i'm gonna i'm gonna i'll I'll nothing okay i'll nothing okay not next week not, not tomorrow not in three days i don't believe you so you might as well just be truthful and be like hey um i actually don't have it and I don't want to pay you. You should have just said that. Because that's what's going to happen. And we know it. So, like, at this point, we don't believe you anymore. But anyway, so, she chose her path. Um, and don't worry. Don't worry. Now, let me know what you think in the comments below. I got to go because I'm burning up now all of a sudden. I mean, actually, I'm all of a sudden. I'm literally in sweatpants. And this, um, like, compression shirt. Cause it's literally, like, um, it was 60 degrees when I first got in the car. And now it's, like, probably 70. So, it's getting a little hotter. Anyways, all right. I will see you guys next time with another video. Um, I'm sorry this is pretty long. But let me know if you got to the end of this video by, um, look at my new red case. By saying red case is your exit ticket. Um, and I'll see you guys next time with another video. Peace out.